Let's talk women talk. Today, we follow the story of a brave and compassionate Singaporean social entrepreneur who has dared to risk it all to help others. Watch this unsung Shiroin's amazing journey as she uncovers her inner strength right here on Women Talk Pulse. My name is Rachel Lin. I'm the founder of Matcha5. It's an online social conscious marketplace. Matcha5 connects the end consumer with disadvantaged artisans who make handicrafts for a living. What we do is to give them assistance like product design, photography and access to market. Another way is pop-up booths so I get engagement with the customers and tell them the stories of the artisans. One example is actually bow ties that are handmade by a Philippines community. I actually went on a voluntary trip to Tala, Philippines. It's actually an area that's outcasted because they have a lot of lepers. So there was a group of women who were making reversible doors. We wanted to go back and help them. But being very practical Singaporeans, I embarked on my corporate journey. The age of 26, I got retrenched. So I actually went ahead to look for jobs, but uh, there were completely closed doors. So I kind of take it as a green light to actually take a step of faith to try Matcha 5. It actually took quite a lot of me to step out of my comfort zone to go out and like pitch to investors. There were actually people who came to me and said that your dressing and the way you look, you look so immature, so how can all these investors even have the confidence to invest in you? There was a moment when I questioned myself. Honestly, I wasn't even drawing a salary. Is it worthy to help other people at the expense of yourself? My friends and my boyfriend has been very, very supportive which was really the core ingredient to sustaining me. What really put me back was coming back to the vision. I actually came across a disabled lady and her mom was sharing with me, even though her daughter was very slow in making clay trinkets, but she just felt very proud of her being able to complete one. She would think that that's not the way to do business because she might be taking like a few hours to make like just a few. Yet I feel that we should not compromise that, that people are also important. It's important as a social entrepreneur to have compassion because you need to feel for the people and want to solve that problem. Sometimes you don't get to choose like the circumstances that you're being born into. And so how can we actually help them to sustain themselves in the long run? Uh, just recently, I actually got to know Cheryl from X Market. There was a, a tinge of sadness that came over me. Why is it that I spent so much hard work doing it on my own and yet someone else can actually just replicate it immediately and even adapt to a better version and they can get funding. But then when I spoke with her, I realised that we actually had very, very similar vision. So we have actually agreed uh, to merge, to put aside differences and really tap on each other's strengths. We hope to be the leading platform uh, in Asia to really change the mindset of consumers that, you know, all these products need not just be something that I just want to support, so I just buy it once in a while, but come out with products that they will be proud to be ambassadors for the disadvantaged artisans. You can shop for stylish curated products at xmarket.com. I really believe that empowerment means love empowering you to love other people, that we are all interconnected on this earth.